This is question number 11 from exercise 9.3. And this question is says that ABC and ADC are two right triangles with a common hypotenuse AC. And we have to prove two of its angles as equal. This, uh, this actually is based on this property. But before we uh, tell you the property, I must tell you what is the figure involved. So first I'm making a hypotenuse and then I'm going to make a triangle. Let's say uh, a right angle triangle. Now this is one right angle triangle. Keeping in mind that uh, we are using the common hypotenuse here as AC. The other right angle triangle I'm going to make here is say in the on this side and joining with this hypotenuse. Right. So you can see we have uh, AC as the hypotenuse and we have two uh, right triangles. Right. One is 90 degree over here and the other, as you can see, it's written CAD and CBD are two right angle triangle. Now, we have to prove that uh, two angles are equal and what are the two angles? That is angle CAD, CAD clearly. This is angle CAD and we have to also prove it is equal to CBD. For that, we have to join, let's say, in that case, we have to join B with D, right? This is a part of the construction. So we'll be able to figure out these two. So this is, these are the two angles we have to prove equal, right? These two angles is what we have to prove equal. This equal to, this is what, we, these two angles we have to prove equal. Now let's uh, uh, understand the property on which it is based. It says that a line segment joining any two points, sub, if it subtends equal angles, right? On the same side that containing the line, then the four points are on a circle. As you can see here that uh, this angle A, B, C, and uh, the other angle A, D, C, these are subtended by the same line joining A and C and are on the same side of AC. And if these two angles are equal, then we can say that ABCD or ABDC, in fact, is concyclic. So what you'll write here first, we'll be writing, I can write angle ABC, which is equal to angle ADC, right? This is 90 degree. After that, you'll be writing this property and therefore you'll say that A, B, D, C and C are concyclic. Concyclic here means they all points lie on the a single circle. That means a circle can pass through all these four points. So it means to say that if you draw a circle, if you draw a circle, then the all four points will lie on this circle. This is what they mean to say that these all four points will lie on a circle. Yeah. This is what they mean to say when they lie on a circle. Now, what you can see, yeah. so what you can see here that it is actually a type of uh, cyclic quadrilateral where AC is the diameter and why AC is the diameter from the angle in a semicircle, right? So we can say this, where AC is a diameter, where AC is a diameter. Now, we say AC is a diameter, then what we can say that if AC is a diameter, then these two angles, the required angles that we have to prove, they are on the same segment considering DC as the chord and 
or DC as the arc, we can say that from the angle on the same segment, these two angle will be equal. So we can therefore write angle CAD is equal to angle TBC, that is angles on the same segment. Same segment. So this is how it can be done. So first we need to prove this part as a cyclic quadrilateral. Once we prove this, a cyclic quadrilateral, as you can see that here the two angles subtended are equal. So we first prove this two angles equal. Therefore, these four points become concyclic. And if it is a concyclic that the quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral and from the angle on the same segment, we can say these two angles are equal.